Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're using Family Tree Maker 2024, you might be wondering what issues are other users running into? Are there any fixes? And most importantly, what new updates are coming down the line? Well, in today's video, we'll break it all down. I'll go over the most common problems that have been reported by users since the launch earlier this year, share some potential solutions, and then we'll take a look at the exciting features Makiev has promised in their next update. So grab your notes because this is going to be a deep dive. Let's start with the issues users are facing in Family Tree Maker 2024. The software has been generally well received since its release in May, but like any big update, not everything has gone smoothly. Problem number one, missing media files after installation. Some users have reported that after installing FTM 2024, about half of their media files simply don't appear in the software. This can be frustrating if you've spent years carefully attaching photos, documents, and records. Possible solution in many cases, relinking media folders manually seems to help. You can go to Tools, Media, find missing media and point the program to the correct folder. But keep in mind, this doesn't always solve the issue for everyone. Some users have had to reattach files individually, which can be time consuming. Problem number two, database errors during sync. Another common issue happens when media is resized before syncing with Ancestry. This can trigger a database error message interrupting the sync process. Possible workaround, avoid resizing your images before syncing. Instead, upload the original files and let Ancestry handle the compression on their end. Reality check, this workaround helps some, but not all. If you continue seeing errors, it might be worth contacting FTM technical support directly. Problem number three, report generation failures on Windows. Several users have said that report generation simply fails to run on Windows even when it works fine on a Mac. Possible solution, a user workaround is to try smaller report batches, selecting only a few individuals instead of an entire massive tree. Some reports have taken up to 15 minutes to generate, so patience is also key. Again, this may or may not work depending on the size of your database. Now, before we move forward, here's something important to note. These solutions are not universal fixes. They've worked for some users, but not everyone. Family Tree Maker is a complex program, and a lot depends on the size of your tree, how your media is stored, and whether you're syncing with Ancestry or using Tree Vault. So if a workaround doesn't solve your problem, don't get discouraged. It doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. It may just be an issue that requires a patch from Mikiev in the future. Now let's talk about the good news. What updates are coming to Family Tree Maker 2024? Mekiv has announced that several new features are on the way in a free future update. Here's what you can expect. Album, walk. Think of this as a way to turn your tree into a mini documentary. You'll be able to create narrated presentations that combine your family photos, records, and stories. The player for Album Walk is already built into FTM 2024. You won't need to install anything new when it launches. The only catch is, we don't have an official release date yet. Resource Center This will be a hub inside FTM giving you access to webinars, user groups, mentors, discounts, and even professional genealogical help. A really useful way to get support without having to leave the software. Easy on the eyes. This is a quality of life update. 
It automatically expands the people workspace when you're working in it and then collapses it back when you leave, making navigation smoother. Copilot 2024 a new diagnostics tool that helps you troubleshoot issues with Tree Vault, Album Walk, and Connect Workspace. Think of it as having a little assistant built into the software. The best part? All of these will come as a free update to Family Tree Maker 2024. So what does all this mean for you as a user? If you're struggling with issues like missing media or sync problems, try the workarounds I mentioned. They might save you some time. But don't expect every solution to work perfectly. Some problems are clearly software bugs that will likely need to be fixed in a patch or addressed in these upcoming updates. Keep an eye on Mikiev's official support page and FAQ. They update it regularly with the latest fixes, news, and shipping updates for DVDs and USB backup media. So there you have it, the current issues, possible fixes, and the exciting future updates coming to Family Tree Maker 2024. Yes, some users are hitting roadblocks, but the team is actively working on new features that should make the program even more powerful and easier to use. If you faced any of these issues yourself, let me know in the comments, especially if you found a fix that worked for you. Sharing your experiences could help other researchers in the community. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss the next genealogy tech update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.